try to get through this as quickly as I can. If you guys look at this problem, the main important thing is, guys, we have x minus 2 raised to the 1 third power. So yes, you could easily go ahead and rewrite this as a cube root. So if you feel more comfortable, and this is the main important thing, guys, whenever you're dealing with rational expressions, or even when you're dealing with radical, um, radical expressions, if you're having trouble doing, doing any kind of operations or solving in one format, just realize you can always convert to the other format. right? You can always go back and forth. So if you're having trouble really kind of solving this with powers, you can think of this as a cube root. So if I have the cube root of x minus 2, um, the cube root of x minus 2, how would I undo the cube root? I have to raise it to the what power? Third, Third power. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the exact same thing we want to do here. We want to raise this to the third power. Whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. Now, what happens, though, when I multiply, when I raise a exponent raising to a power? What do you do with the powers? You multiply them. Well, what happens when I multiply 1 over 3 times 3 over 1? You get 1. So x to the x minus 2 to the first power is just x minus 2 equals 125. So you can think of this as like this, where the, the cubing, the cube root, is an inverse operation, as well as raising a, ra raising a fraction to its reciprocal is an inverse operation. So all you're really doing is raising it to the inverse. Just make sure you do it to both sides. That gets the 1. Now all we need to do is add a 2. And I have x equals 127. Since my, um, yeah, since I'm raising it to the third power, I don't have to deal with the plus or minus. That was only for the square roots, um, if you guys remember doing that. Um, but we are good in that sense. Okay. Any other questions on that? Feel good? Comfortable? 